Hey guys, Chaotic Lizards here. So, my Emana Dryer has a torn belt. So, let's fix that. Let's get into it. So, the first thing you want to do to get into the internals of this drying machine is remove this lint catcher and put it aside. Next, there's two small screws right here that need to come out. They are Phillips screws, so you will need a Phillips screwdriver. And then you just want to come to the front part over here and take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry it up. And it's got these little tabs in here that just kind of pops out. Boom. And then you just flip the top up just like this. Now, the first time I did this, when I was taking it apart the first time before I knew what was wrong with this drying machine, I open it up and I immediately see the belt right here. And I'm like, well, I don't think it's supposed to be there because it looks like it's supposed to be here, right where this little discolored line is. So then I did this and I was like, well, I know it's not supposed to do that. So there lies the problem. Next thing we have to do is take off this front panel. So there's two screws. I've already taken one out, but they're Right here on the inside, there's one there. There should be one there, I've already taken it out. And there's one over here on the other side. It's a hex head screw, so you'll just need like a little nut driver attachment for your drill or whatever to, to remove that screw. For me, I'm just using a drill with a screwdriver attachment in it with no tip. Again, make sure you don't lose those screws, you will need them again. Now something I just want to point out real quick is this electrical connection right here. So I originally thought it was like a quick connect, it looks like it wants to be disconnected when you pull off the front panel, but I just couldn't figure it out. Now I know there are some, some of these types of connections are you know you can release them and some of them you can't so I could not figure this one out I struggled with it for like 30 minutes but anyways I was still able to get the front panel off without without this getting in the way you just want to be careful because you don't want to be pulling and tugging on this wire then you'll have real problems another thing to point out when you get your two hex head screws out of the top of the front panel you come down here to see what the, um, the connection is and you probably can't see it from there but it is just it's just a tab. So what you want to do is just pull straight up on the front panel to get it out. Again, be very careful of this wire right here. I'm just gonna put the front panel right to the side and leave it there. Be very careful of that wiring. Okay, so now there's our drum. So this is just a generic 29 inch dryer belt that I picked up at Lowe's. I have a love-hate relationship with Lowe's. Anyways, how you install this belt is you want the groove side down towards your drum. So you basically just kind of slide the belt over the drum like so. And I have a 29, 29 inch belt. Some dryers require a 27 inch belt, so you'll just want to check before you do that. So now that I've got my belt slid over my dryer drum, groove side down, flat side up, I'm going to come down here to the bottom on the inside. So I'm going to do the best I can to make sure you know you guys can see this what I'm doing here but anyways basically right here you have your tensioner pulley and right here is your drive pulley on your motor so I'm gonna put your tensioner pulley kind of in like that then take your belt and run it through your tensioner pulley like that 
and it's kind of difficult. You kind of have to work it, and then you want to go over your drive pulley like so. So you're like that. And then just double check that you're sitting properly and run your hand around the entire drum. Make sure your belt's not twisted or anything. You want, you can see where the old belt used to sit. Remember that discoloration, that little line? So you want your new belt to sit right on there, grooved side down, flat side up. Just run your hand along the drum, make sure it's flat all the way around. No, not twisted, nothing like that. And then you can just put your front panel back on and put this thing back together. Hey, look at all the coins down here. Finally getting paid to make a YouTube video, huh? No, in all seriousness though, while you're down here, it's probably a good idea to just clean out the lint and stuff like that. You don't want all that crap down there, you know what I mean? Get the coins for yourself. Lucky day. Now, one thing I should have mentioned at the beginning, guys, always, always, always unplug your dryer if you're going to do work on it like this. You definitely do not want to be getting zapped by that. Okay, let's kick her on and see if she works. Good to go.